Does she leave him for a Lamborghini or stay loyal? UDY loyalties. I'm, I've been waiting on one of these. Today we are giving away this Lamborghini. The uh, last okay. filming a loyalty test. In the shape of a Lamborghini giveaway challenge, though. Is Ben's girlfriend loyal or not? Today our friend Dorian will be helping him find out. Well, he had every episode, ain't he? It's a win-win if I win the car and you. We've been arguing a lot, back and forth. The trust issues, I would say. I don't want him to get deep into something, get hurt, and then it distracts and music and stuff like that, so. In the past, we've actually placed Joan and his girlfriend yeah, to the test, but this time, the roles were reversed. You don't have to have your hand on it just yet. Oh, we're practicing. Yes, <laughs> we're practicing? Yep. What is there to practice? <laughs> the plan was for our friend Madeline to pretend to be the YouTuber that was giving away this gorgeous beast. <laughs> that is sick. That our Lambo though, bro. To be competitors in the challenge alongside I cheat for a Lambo. Ben and his girlfriend. Just got a text message from Joan and guys. He say ETA 905. It was Ben's job to bring his girlfriend to the challenge. And when the time was right, Dorian would make his move and see if she would remain loyal. Exactly like he did in Jonan's test. <laughs> Grab your talkies. It's about to get real. Today's video <laughs> is brought to you by Ray. Bro, we paid all these bills? That you can add a four power to ring the Raid restart. Guys, the other contestants are here. Oh, they're here. Jonan and the rest of the gang are here. Ben had arrived with his girlfriend, Taya. In order to make things more realistic, we also asked Jonan and another one of their friends to be a part of this quote unquote challenge. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Madeline. Nice to meet you all. And hello, Hi, Madeline. friends. Hi. And hello, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna record the intro really quickly. Hey, so Madeline. Says Lamborghini, everyone be like, yeah. yeah. Just literally just scream. Alrighty, so on today's episode, we are going to be giving away this Lamborghini, can you believe it? Yeah. I'm excited. The person who keeps their hand on the Lamborghini the longest will walk away with it. Yeah. Yeah. And so with that, our fake Lamborghini challenge had officially begun. Dorian strategically set himself up next to Ben's girlfriend while Ben kept his distance. Now, if this challenge were real, I'm sure we'd be here for hours, but luckily we had a strategic way to shorten this thing up. Duh. We're going to be eliminating someone in 20 minute segments. We've come up with an excuse for each of them to get out of there. My excuse for leaving is because I have a pizza. For now, everyone just had to play it cool and go along with our fake challenge. Ken, what are you going to do with the car? Um, I'm probably going to sell it. Honestly, for me, it's going to be a tax write-off. The reason I need this car is because I need a weekend car. You see my daily right over there? This is my daily weekend car now. Okay. The challenge was in full swing and everything was going as planned. Ben's girlfriend was fully convinced that Madeline, a successful YouTuber, was giving away this Lambo thanks to her friends at Supercar Garage. But in reality, it was simply lent to us by its owner, Chris. This is a 2022 Lamborghini STO. This is one of approximately 2200 for the world. It's 640 horsepower, naturally activated V10. It's the star of my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, Every month, we're going to pick one subscriber and have a night out with the boys. We have someone else to leave. Fortunately, Ooh. yes. Where do you have to go? I have to go pick up my brother. Yeah, you go pick up my brother. You have a Lamborghini on the line. I know, but. With this Lamborghini, you could buy yourself a brand new brother. You could buy yourself a brand new brother. That is very true. No, I can't do that. That's an L. Excuse me, bro. Even though I know what's going to happen. Go get your brother, yeah. Go get your brother. Go get your brother. Go get your brother. And just like that, our first contestant was eliminated. Bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Everyone keep your hands on the prize. So now I will be ordering some pizza because that's going to be how we're going to get someone else out. Hi. Thanks for calling Domino's. Nothing is better together than what was that? pizza and coke. I'm kind of stressing out because I got this conference call in a little bit. But is it worth more than a Lamborghini? I might take the conference call here while well, I'm on the well, I don't know. Right. Can do that. Because it'll mess with our audio. Get fired or uh, get a Lambo. Muba may or may not have to leave. All right, Muba, make your decision. Are you going to take your conference call or are you going to stay in the challenge? Oh! So the pizza's on his way. Muba went to his conference call. I'm so fucking hungry. How are we doing on storage? I'm running a little bit low, but we're good for right now. I want to offer you guys $1,000 to skedaddle. What did she say? All right, I'll take it. Okay. So I'm going to stick around. Oh, fuck. Imagine Taya's the one who takes it. No. Come here, the prices. Oh, so she said nay. What about you? Don't ask me. Oh, you guys can literally be here for like eight plus hours. I ain't gonna cap. I gotta use the restroom too. A thousand looking real nice. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do it, bro. Yeah? Oh. 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 Oh.
go ahead and go inside. There's snacks. It's nice and warm. Yeah, imagine this for real. The man traded a Lamborghini for a thousand dollars. Y'all wasting y'all time. The challenge continued, and 20 minutes later, Madeline tickled Ken out of the competition. <laughs> Getting tickled is your well, weakness. Not long after Ken's departure, the pizza had finally arrived. Oh, the piss off, Sam, bro. A weak link. So hungry. Take the pizza. Okay. I'm oh, no. Where? These are some L excuses. So you tell me you're going to choose pizza over trying to get Lambo, and that's going to be believable? You're going to believe that? Mm. I can never be that hungry. Imani ends up giving up the Lamborghini for a slice of pizza. Oh my god, this is like the shortest keep your hand on the Lamborghini oh, no. challenge ever. Oh, no. A while later, Madeline ended up eliminating Loris by nut checking him. Hey, you're done. Hey. Whoa, that's not fair. And last but not least, all that was left to do was eliminate Ben based off a of technicality. But before that happened, this ended up playing <coughs> out. Looking good, looking good. Oh, your girlfriend's right there. Oh, you know. But, oh, so I'm not cute? No, you are, but, you know, she's a bad one. Can't. In front of her man, though? This was actually pretty crazy, and I had no idea that it happened. I guess Madeline picked up on Ben sounding a little sus here and decided to conduct a loyalty test of her own. Oh, you guys have, like, a little open thing going on? No, no, not there. Is it cheating if... What the hell? What is he doing? Oh? Yeah, I stay loyal. You stay loyal? So you wouldn't want to... No, definitely not. You guys know? I'm asking you out, what's up? Can't do that. No? Hell no. Did, what'd you say? She's right there. So if she wasn't right oh, there. I'm just saying like... What are we doing right now? No, but sit for real, for real. For real? Yeah. Sorry. I've been here for a minute now. You can't do that. All right. I respect I that. that I like that. You better keep that up. Bro. All right. I respect I that. Hold up. I like that. You better keep that when was the last time you were you folded your your, your pants <laughs> when's the last time y'all folded your pants like this bro what is this 1999 because i'm a player that's why you got cheated on right now part of the plan but madeline just pulled the test within a test honestly ben did sound a little sus here oh so i'm not cute no you are but you know he's a bad one. Oh, that was, i thought that was his girl saying it to the uh, dorian dude Test him sometime in the future, though, because he obviously knew the cameras were there. Anyways, let's fast forward and get back to kicking him out based on that. Well, we can never win. See right there. Hot red hand. Ben was being kicked out because he supposedly lifted his hand off the car. Hell yeah. Where he got out? Woo! I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm kind of glad you got out because that just made it a lot easier for me. I thought he would be here longer than you would. Finally, two and a half hours later, our plan was complete and we had Dorian and Taya by themselves. You guys are hungry, huh? I know. I'm starving. I mean, you guys can eat with one hand, right? If I give you guys pizza? Of course. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have the cameras. You guys come inside. You guys gotta keep each other accountable, though. I'll bring you guys pizza. Cameras are gonna come inside with me. We're gonna change out the SD cards and the batteries. I'll be back right now with your guys' food. Dorian was about to make his move, but we first had to make Ben's girlfriends believe that she wasn't being watched or recorded. So we killed all the cameras, except for the hidden one upstairs hey. and the hidden one in the car. All right, Ben, what you think? If you think she's gonna pass, how you feeling, man? I don't know, I'm a little nervous. We've been arguing the last couple of days, but I don't oh. know. She's just kind of into him, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. oh my God, I didn't know there was another angle. <laughs> you didn't know about this angle? No. <laughs> you slick with a little one finger. Okay, don't let that finger come up now. I'm quick to tell them. As a matter of fact, where they at with the cameras? Where they at? Hey! I tell if you don't vlog. Play with it. Play with it. Why would you want two Lambos when you already have one? Because do who doesn't want two Lambos? Three hours of your life now. I want a second one. Well, what if I want? I'll let you drive it every now and then. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a Scorpio on me, I guess. Ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I hate Scorpio. Scorpio gang. gang. I hate Scorpio. Is that a real reason, bro? Is that an uh, excuse? Uh, what, where do you? Where do you? Aries. I don't know when that is. When is it Aries? April. Oh. Did Dorian just blow it by saying he's I a Scorpio? He did. Hey, for some people, that's a deal breaker. I definitely need this car. This one has like 700 horsepower. Mine has like 500. There's no need for two. We can share. If you just lift your hand up just a little right now, we can make a little, what is that called? We can sign a little document, okay? I get the car in the weekdays. You get the car on the weekend. What is this? Uh, oh, oh. oh. But you, can, you can show off on the weekend. Do what you need to do. Weekdays. I take the car to like work. Yeah. Let me get closer to what you. Is this, what, what are we right? co-parenting with the fucking car now? I mean, wouldn't it just be Yeah, you don't like that, like, bro. Both me in the same Lambo? You know, you could ride in here with me. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, like... 
a girl says maybe, you got her. Like I said earlier, it's a win-win if I win the car and you. I'm not trying to, you know, sound like dickheadish or like, you know, mean or anything, but you didn't notice how your boyfriend was out here openly flirting earlier? You did, because you did say something about yeah, that. Yeah, no, I did say something. I wasn't flirting with nowhere. I wasn't flirting, right? Was I flirting? Yeah. I was joking, bro. She take two things, she take things too literally. Why? Why are you bringing that up? This is a double I, homicide? I, I didn't know what the vibes really were because, you know, he was there flirting. You were kind of, not saying full on, but you were kind of flirting with me. What if I was just joking about that, though? And you were joking, but what if you weren't? I was just flirting to try to get you to take your, your finger off. That's what, that's what excuse I'll use. But that's the thing, you're saying what if, right? Just a little friendly fire. Oh, a little friendly fire? A little friendly fire. A little friendly fire. How friendly is that fire? Not that friendly. Not that friendly? That's how I like it, though. I don't like it too friendly. I'll tell you. I'm, just, I'm gonna just be realistic. I'm gonna just be like up front. I really don't even know you like that, but I'm just saying, like, I find you real pretty, mad attractive. And I just wanted to see if it was like any way that mean you could just like, I'm not saying leave your man right now or anything like that, but I'm just, I just wanna get to like know you a little better. So you want me to like sneak behind his back and like us talk? He got him. I don't know what she He got him. Like how you. I, like bro, even if she wins this bro, we break it up. Cause you, you, you give it too many options. You should say no. I'm faithful to my mans. Y'all really do it how, like, how you got it going on. Cause I already saw the like, you know, like I said, the open flirting. So I don't know if that's something that you guys like really do like that, but I'm open to it if you are. No. No? I'm gonna pass on that. I can respect that. Oh, right, here we go. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm just saying that it's just, it's just one of those things that I just have to really be upfront about, you know? Yeah. Just have to be upfront about it. But you know what? I really respect that though, like. Oh, oh. So that was it. Taya rejected Dorian. Did we I'm glad she did, but honestly, did she win though? Like too quickly. I feel like Dorian could have applied more pressure. Like I was expecting him to say something like, "I'll take my hand off the slambo if you go on a date with me," but he didn't even like ask for her number. Now, in his defense, maybe he felt like he didn't have much time, or maybe this whole scenario wasn't the best for him to apply that pressure. But if he would have at least gotten her number, we would have called off this slambo challenge due to camera issues, and then we could have figured out a face two where he would have more time and more privacy to make his move it sounds awful i know and it's not like i wanted her to fail i'm very glad she passed i guess i just like to thoroughly conduct these tests that's Cal. it i wasn't afraid i wasn't afraid though come on at this point though the test was over and ben had decided to come clean to his girlfriend so grab them talkies because you guys already know it's about to go this down scum be good What's up? Good, what's good? How y'all doing? Chilling, ready to win this. So what's this? A test. For what? Loyalty. You passed it, so congrats. Passed what? A loyalty test. Loyalty test for what? I thought we were doing a challenge. Oh my god. Technically, yeah. It was on you. You passed. <laughs> Hey. 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 So, Taylor, so this entire thing was basically all a test. Ben wanted to place you to a test to see if you would remain loyal to him. So we had Dorian right over here ask you on a date. And the way we set that up was by making you believe that you were competing for this Lamborghini right here. I just stood out in the cold for no reason. <laughs> for a reason. Loyalty. Because, I mean, to be honest, I <laughs> the have, biggest reason it is. I have some issues with trust lately, but, you know, I feel like this was needed to keep the relationship intact. Are you just doing this test because you're doing stuff behind my back? Definitely not. There we go! Oh, you, there we go! Why are you guys in on this? No, no, no. <laughs> it was them. No, nah, no. Nah. I was here for more. That, what? Hey, more hey, she, hey, she, she, she wanted hey, to I just want to, I just want to look out for my homie because he looked out for me. My girl, she ended up not passing, but. <laughs> Why would you even think I would do something like that? You know, because what happened to me, I just don't want to yeah, But know. we're not like your relationship. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, well, there it see goes. That. Oh, really? It took you a little fake challenge to figure that out. You passed. You passed. You passed. Hey, congrats. You don't got to get mad at me. You don't got to get mad at me. She got to break up with him. later. That doesn't need to be on camera. That's just ridiculous. So what if I did this to you? What if I tested I, I'd you? I'd probably laugh, to be honest. You would I'd probably would laugh, pass? yeah. Yeah, I'll, oh, for sure I'd pass. Okay. Yeah. I just don't get why you do a little trick like this, but why couldn't you have just ask me? 
That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next couple days might be a little rough, but we'll get over it for sure, right? Right? Sure. Sure? Maybe. You're still mad? Until you see this video. Hug it out. <laughs> Hug it out. <laughs> really no car though? <laughs> <laughs> Just did all that for no reason. I told you that, bro. Bro, I already knew the, I already knew the vibe, bro. I already knew that, like the way she was acting, she was about to break up with him.